everybody, Colin here with On The Mend. Today I'm gonna to give you a walkthrough on how to put together a Medline hospital bed. The beauty about these beds is whether it's Medline, Drive, or whatever other company, they're basically all the same when you're gonna put them together. So normally this would be easier with two people, but it is doable with one. So I'm gonna show you how to do it if you're alone. You got the top of the bed here, bottom of the bed here. So we're gonna start by putting these two together. So what you want to do is get these two on basically a 90 degree angle. There's a little latch right here on the top and the bottom that will latch in right in the middle. So if you go in at 90 degrees, it's a lot easier. This is usually the hardest part if you're by yourself, just because you do have to make sure you line it up and then it kind of will run away from you a little bit if you don't put pressure. So when you're putting it together, you want to make sure you're putting a lot of pressure on that middle and then boom, once you open it up, it's Gonna stay together keep that open just to give you some balance and then i usually like to go on to here you don't need the strap it's just to hold the pole up it might be nice to hold on to in case you need to take the bed apart for storage and throw it to the side for now this is what will control the head of the bed so we're gonna pop that out pull this out make sure it snaps in if you don't snap that in it will not work pull this out a little bit this lines up super easy and then you're just going to put the pin right back through the hole this will hold the pin there and then boom there you go next you could stay there i'm going to come around here in the middle of the bed there's hooks that are going to connect the mattress or hold the mattress up excuse me so those are easy to assemble as well you just got to give it a little pinch Keep in mind, if you have this open towards you, it will be easier to get these together. If this isn't open, it's gonna be hard for you to stretch this over. Okay, looking good. Next, you can get ready to put the bed down. It's not terribly heavy, just gonna have to help, you know, guide it down, you can slide it. Okay, we're gonna move on to the headboard and footboard. They should be labeled head or foot. If they're not, uh, the head is normally taller than the foot on most beds. On this one, they're pretty even, so uh, just keep that in mind. Doesn't matter which one you start with, I'm gonna start with the head. It might help you to have the wheel locked so it's not running away from you while you're trying to put it on. So this you have to be pretty precise with. It might be a little annoying trying to figure it out at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's super easy. These are gonna hook right into here, but you kinda of have to go in evenly on both sides. So I usually like to line up the bottom one and then the top one naturally will fall into place. There you go. On the back side. This part's a little bit harder just cause it's a little heavier, but you could still definitely do it on your own. we go after that a lot of people forget this you have to push this in and to give it a twist so it locks into the the port right here that's what's going to make the bed go up and down once you connect the drive bar and that's actually our next step we're going to take this you can either lift this up and do it that way but i i normally just get on the ground it doesn't matter which way this goes but I do recommend putting this side on first because once you put it in, it's easier to push this in to lock in the other end. So, get on the ground, put that side in first, and then once that's in, you don't have, if it, once you get it on here, you don't necessarily need it to lock in. Once you plug in the bed, and hit down, it will spin itself into place, which I will do that real quick to show you. It's normally not all tangled up, but I forgot to do this. Okay, I'm gonna plug this in. So if you come over here and you look right here, oh, come on, okay. so down here, see it's 
currently not locked in, but once you start to move the bed, it'll lock itself in. I like to tell people just go down to get everything set up. Once you know everything's locked in, then you can start to raise the bed up and down. Remote, super self-explanatory. Top is gonna raise the head. Lower the head. If whatever seems like it's not working, just keep holding down the button, it will go. Next one's gonna do the foot. Up, down. Might need some weight on there to get it to go down. And then, like I said, the last one is gonna be the height of the bed up and down. Last thing is the bed rails, which are optional, but most people use them. So you wanna make sure these are pretty loose because first you're gonna be locking this on to the bottom part of the bed. And then once you feel that has a tight grip, this is gonna tighten on the top. You wanna stay in this general area of the springs. I usually like to go right around here. So lock in the bottom under first. Once you feel that it's locked in, then you tighten with the knob until you start to feel a clamp. It'll grab on and then you can see you know, you want to get it as tight as possible. So if anyone puts any weight on the rail, it's not going anywhere. Now it is locked on there. And then on these rails, if you come around here, there's a little knob on the side where if you pull the knob out, that is what is going to adjust the rail. With the mattress on here, this will be flush. And then to pull back up, you have to do that. It'll lock itself back in. You got wheel locks on each corner, one there, one on the opposite over here. And then that is how you roll the bed around. And then uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching the video, everyone.